Here we are in the interior of the Nation Blind HDA and its settings. And you have slider for the width and the height adjustment just to make it match to your window. Here you have the main settings, the detailed settings, settings for the handling, which is this little thing over here. So we have a quick run through. So what's important? Open and close and the blade rotation to either side. You have the details so you can change the width, the amount of pull strings, which would be these things over here. You have blade thickness, the blade curve, you have blade randomness, which is beautiful. You just see it here, makes it a bit more realistic. So that would be pretty straight, like perfect. And this one would be a little bit more used, like, you know, you would have used it for a couple of times. And so they are not really accurate and horizontal. You have settings for the step ladder. This is the little one over here. So you can have the radius, make this one big and small. You have subdivisions to make it nice and round or more zigzaggy. You have a couple of more settings. Just play around with it, have a lot of fun. One more thing would be the handle. Just here you have more settings so you can switch that on and off, of course. You can choose between a string or a chain. So let's go a bit closer. That would be the chain with some fears, or that would be the string with handles. And you can adjust the height, so you know, put it wherever you need to. You can also change the side where it should be attached. So that would be the right side over here or the left side. Uh, if you have chosen the chain, you can even um, adjust the subdivision of the squares. So a little bit close. Uh, we go here, you can see, so they get really nice and round. So if you have to have close-ups, you will probably um, increase the subdivision, but if that's far away, you can live with, with a smaller amount of subdivisions for these spheres because they're not really in the view and they're just, you know, increasing your, your pulley count of the whole scene. Uh, further down, you have settings for UV mapping for texturing later on, and then uh, dedicated offset transform to, to move it around in X, Y, and Z, or you can even change the rotation. So, I hope this was helpful, and yeah, enjoy playing with the Venation Blind HDA.